just about could have been the difference in the last. Have been yeah, his taps they? have been sensational. Doggies play the huddle again. Gilby will go to himself. No one marking him. He will be able to take this all the way to defensive 50 and beyond. He will because Geelong won't come at him. They'll stay with their man. Look what's happening. They'll just keep running back with their man. Someone has to chase from behind. Gilby past the centre. Still no one goes at him. Gilby from the kick in takes it all the way to the forward pocket. And Johnson takes the mark. And, and, and the Western Bullies runner will be cited for running 30 metres with an opponent then and directing the play. He will be cited, this gentleman coming off the ground right now. I think that's Peter, Peter Philandia. He'll be cited now. Well, he should be too. You play. can't do that. Brad Johnson, tight angle, the skipper, to put the doggies back in front. Goes for it. He's a beautiful. Kid. And gets it. How's that for a coast to coast goal? Gilby carries it beyond the centre, finds Johnson in the pocket. Johnson converts for his first goal and the Bulldogs are back in front. Now, we called as it happened because no doubt it's a strategy from the Geelong side. If you need to chase from behind, and I reckon Bomber Thompson, he wouldn't be worried about his defenders or the midfielders. He'd be saying to the forward, really? who was chasing from behind to put some pressure on? And Gilby, to his credit, knew that he could take the ball all the way because the pressure wasn't coming. Exactly. Gary Ablett was there, but he just couldn't... No. Well, he's been doing speed. so much work there. Yeah, there he, could, he couldn't get the leg speed going. That's a six-point.